Yahushua declares, You shall engage in mocking and scoffing, to laugh at them in a contemptuous manner, to inflict torture upon them by mockery, to taunt and frustrate them, to make fools of them. You shall jest and taunt them with quips, and you shall give way to hilarity, joking, singing, and dancing, playing like a child, as children and sons like Christ. You are a slave and servant of the King, a minister and devout worshiper of God, one who fulfills God's will, one of the people of Israel, like David. You are an upright and godly man whose agency God employs in executing his purposes, like Jesus the Messiah and the prophets, as his children, to smite them, to wound and inflict them with punitive evils, to disquiet their conscience. They shall beat their breasts for grief when what is hidden in your bosom comes to view, when the mind, power, and life of Christ is manifested and revealed in your soul. You shall be imbued with the spirit and power of Elijah, furnished with the regal power of Messiah, with his kingly power in Israel. When you exit out of the body and the light of God is upon you, you shall begin preaching and teaching in the synagogues throughout all Galilee. You shall go about walking to make your way, to progress and make doom with your opportunities, clothed in a garment to be Christ's companion, to live a life in union with Christ. Yehoshua declares, you shall trample, tread upon, and crush with your feet the greatest perils from the machinations and persecutions with which Satan would fain thwart the preaching of the gospel. You shall tread Satan underfoot and treat him with contempt when he treads underfoot and desecrates the holy city forty and two months. You shall smite with the sword and wound with the sting to smite them with punitive evils, and they shall beat their breasts for grief. As touching you being encompassed in this act or state, these are the things concerning you as a worker of miracles, things necessary to be known and believed. These are the prophecies concerning your career and death, the things appointed to you by Yahweh for your benefit and advantage, to be a workman of like occupation as Christ. Yehoshua declares, this is beyond you. It is from beyond the other side, the hereafter, the world outside of the range of human understanding. Entangle yourself therein. Engage as a participant and weave into the fabric or design. As an artistic work, you shall be interlaced and weaved together with Christ, moving like wind. You shall walk in a circular course to make your way and make due use of your opportunities among the people subject to error and sin, clothed in your garments as Christ's companion, in the body of Christ to tread upon Satan and treat him with contempt, to smite them with the sword, to inflict them with punitive evil. Because of this, you shall go beyond the other side to a degree greater than human knowledge or experience, the world outside the range of man's perception. 
Yehoshua declares, Come hither among the innumerable company to the fountain of Siloam at the right hand. The contents of your writings, the contents of your book, shall be in the book of the prophets, in the portion of scripture which treats of Elijah. Christ shall reveal and manifest in your soul, and you shall exit out of the body to go flying towards your destination, to begin teaching and preaching to the synagogues throughout all Galilee. You shall be active, effectual, and powerful with the opportunity for the working of the gospel. This is your work, your labor, and undertaking committed to you by Christ, the execution of the ministry to be accomplished by your hands, done at the bidding and by the aid of the Father. As Enoch, you shall be translated to be dedicated and allocated for particular use designed to fulfill your particular purpose. You shall be initiated and admitted to membership in a position of power and authority, to be enlightened, given spiritual intellect and insight, introduced to the mysteries of God. On account of your extraordinary piety, devotion and reverence to God, you shall be taken up alive by God into heaven. You shall be dedicated and trained, given something to put into your mouth to be tasted, giving you understanding, to imbue and pervade you, to instruct and train you up as a child, to dedicate your temple and commence its use. Yehoshua declares, Come hither among the multitude, exit out of the body and out of the world, enter the house of Yahweh. Mortal man shall become as the son of man, like Christ. Behold, there came with the clouds of heaven the likeness of the son of man, the Messiah, together with many others. Wicked men shall be weak, sick, and frail, ill at ease and in pain in that calamitous day. They shall be of a malignant disposition of mind. Yehoshua declares, I shall pluck you out to deliver and rescue you, to choose you as my chosen elect, to elevate you and carry you off out of the world. Divulge and declare this abroad, publish and make this known by praising, proclaiming and celebrating. As an angel and messenger of God, bring tidings to press onward and urge on your companions in the assembly to show them the way. I shall lift you up and take you away from your place to remove and carry you off out of the world to redeem you. I pay the price to recover you from the power of Satan as a ransom. I have freed the elect from the dominion of Mosaic law at the price of my vicarious death to purchase you Make wise and sacred use of every opportunity for doing good, so that zeal and well-doing are as it were the purchase money by which you make the time your own, and by ransom to avert evil from yourself, to deliver you from evil. Christ purchased his disciples by shedding his blood so that we may be withdrawn from the earth, its miseries, and from wicked men. We shall be collected 
in the assembly of the elect. He shall cause the dead to rise, arousing them from the sleep of death, recalling them to life, and causing them to appear. Yehoshua declares, Come, arise, awaken from sleep, collect your faculties, and assemble. Amen. Shalom.